<laughs> Dynamic forms. Using field rules in a line database, you can build complex conditional logic for your web forms with easy to use interface. Go to the Form Builder and open the Rules tab to create and edit field rules. The field rules are very easy to understand. It's constructed as follows. Create a condition. You can use each field type as subject for the condition. File, formula or linked column fields can be used. Choose an action. You can choose one or three actions, show or hide field and set value. Choose the field for the action. Here is an example. We have an order form. First, we will divide it for a new and regular customer. The client's information is contained in a separate table. It added in the order form at the subform. You can watch a video about subforms on our YouTube channel if you haven't seen it yet. Now, I will add a drop down list to the top of the form. The user will need to choose between two options. Go to the Rules tab and create a new one. If the user selects the new customer, then show the registration subform. Create another one. If the user selects regular customer, then show the login field. Now we need to create the same rule, but for the password field. I can clone the last one and make changes to it. Everything is ready, let's check it. Now consider the set value action. I created one more page in our form. The customer need to choose delivery method. Create the following rules. If delivery is by courier to the apartment, then set the value to delivery cost is $10. Assume that delivery cost by courier in the city and to the post office are the same. So, we can use several criteria for the rule. Click on the plus icon and add one more criterion OR. Select delivery to the post office. Then set the value delivery cost $5. Now the user will see the final order cost, which varies depending on the delivery method. On the next example, I'll show you how to dynamically assign records permissions by user. Here is a Design Studio database. This is a team project and each user's group have access only to own records. For example, the artist's group includes users Andrew, Mark and Vanessa. Watch video about team model on our channel for more information. First, I will add the record owners field to the form. Using the rules, you can set record owners. In this example, we will create the following rule. If the task field contains sketch or draft, or drought, then record owners are Andrew, Mark and then Vanessa. Let's try to fill out the form. Thus, artist group will receive their records without extra access rights settings. In this video, we examined the basic principles of working with field rules. Find more information on quintadb.com.